All right, buddy, this is called Love Makes a Family, and it's by Sophie Bia. B-E-E-R. Can you imagine going through your life with that kind of name? Anyway, all right. Love is baking a special cake. Hey, can you, right over here, look, we're paying attention to this thing. Love is baking a special cake. Uh, you see, there's the old lady, and there's the old man, and they got two kids, I'm assuming it's grandkids, because, yikes. I mean, good for them if they have kids, because eh, they're freaking old, but whatever. Uh, let's see, uh, what else is going on here? Oh, look, the dog's jumping up on the table like Kansas, bad kitty. And uh, there's presents, lots of presents. That's good, all right. What else we got here? Uh, let's see. Oh, hang on, I forgot a page. Love is waking up bright and early. Oh, so here we go. You got the two dudes, and, um, well, I don't know. This one kind of looks like, yeah, we're going to go. It's two dudes, and the kids come in early and wake them up, and there's the cat laying on the bed. And uh, if you ever do that to me, you'll be sleeping in the yard. So there's that. Um, all right. Here we go. Oh, this is a special cake one. I think we got a page here we missed. Oh, love is knowing where everything is. All right, so this is a lesson in children are irresponsible, and moms always know where things are. So, like, he lost his baseball, and it's underneath the bed, but also she found his shoe because he's only wearing one shoe, and also his, like, man panties are on the ground here next to his iPad. In fact, this room is a disaster, and there are Legos everywhere, and we don't do that. Not in this house. We respect the Lego. Um, so that's good, but, yeah. I'm also not really quite trying to figure out here why, like, the bed's just seemingly in the middle of the room, like, not actually up against a wall, and there's just dresses everywhere, and, like, obviously this mother's just way too busy to, oh, figure out how to redecorate her kids' rooms and stuff. Yeah, we're recording this. Okay. All right. Oh, Love is finding the biggest muddy puddles, and there you have a guy who looks kind of like a lumberjack carrying flowers and a dog leash. And taking his children through high standing water, which if you ever listen to any of the reports after it rains, you should not do. Um, oh, there's a snail just kind of trucking along, kind of really close to the lumberjack dude's feet. So that snail is probably going to have seen his last rainstorm. Um, and the dog looks really sad because, well, this schlub has decided to like drag his dog along on a muddy puddle run with his kids. So there's that. And I'm not really quite sure what's going on here. There's like a head or a foot sticking out of this child's head. And it's also bringing a stuffed animal, which, yeah, I don't know about that. All right. And the clouds are brown. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, clouds are typically brown. Oh, so now here's another one. Love is lending a helping hand. All right. We're going to talk about this for a second. If we ever get a fish tank and you throw your teddy bear in the fish tank playing like pirate ship or whatever it is the hell you're playing, you and I are going to have words, okay? You understand? We're going to have words. And those words are not going to be good out loud words because you don't throw teddy bears in the fish tank. But this nice lady, will assume it's the mother who has the patience of a monument, has been nice enough to fish this teddy bear out of the fish tank. Ow, you hit me in the eyeball. And then, nope, you hit me in the eyeball. Stop it. You hit me in the eyeball. You want your milk? Ow, stop hitting me in the eyeball. Stop squirming. Ah! Here, you want your milk? Here, have some milk. Yummy milk. Okay. And, uh, yeah. And this is also kind of interesting here. Uh, this is an interesting choice that Miss Beer made. Uh, there's another child here with a fishing rod sitting next to the fish tank. No, no. We do not go fishing in the fish tank. Ever. We go fishing in a pond or a river or a lake or, like, the ocean. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We got some Lesbeterians. Love it. All right, let's see. Love is watching from the front row. So here is Lesbeterian number one, and she's got these weird, like, Freddy Krueger fingers when she's clapping her hands, these, like, spikes hanging out. The other one's eating popcorn the size of my thigh. Um, how these ladies maintain their girlish figure, I will never know. Um, they have movie tickets, which is weird because the kids just kind of set up this, like, weird stage contraption thing here and one of them's got a hand puppet of a dragon and is holding what is, appears to be a live cat and yeah the cat does not look thrilled and then the other child is a musician or a magician i can't really tell which because 
something in the hand looks like a musical instrument and a magic wand all at the same time and yeah what else is going on oh look they made little trees for their little fake stage that's nice watching from the front row oh now here we go first of all the fact that this dude kind of looks like me i'm not super thrilled about because i think they're trying to make some kind of a statement about big fat dudes with small teeth small feet that would be me uh but here he is he's all dressed up um for a tea party with i guess his daughter uh up in a tree and they have a bunny um the bunny's teacup is strategically placed over its groin okay uh they got a teapot and dad's drinking tea and the girl's wearing a bonnet i'm not really quite sure what's going on with the bonnet i guess you maybe you drink tea during like you wear a bonnet when you're drinking tea i don't know maybe um there's apples on the tree or some kind of fruit um i didn't know that apple trees were strong enough to build um tree forts in but whatever i can also make a commentary not that i'm an architect or anything like that but i'm looking at this and i'm thinking well I don't know, these little trusses here, there's like four of them with two screws on each. I don't think that's enough to hold this big fat dude and his daughter and their bunny while they're doing their thing. Oh, look, you got birds. Which, oh, okay, here's a good one. That's clearly a chicken. Chickens don't really live in trees. Um, and, yeah. But here it is, up a tree, with uh, two chicks in a nest. So, I'm not really sure what's going on. Love is playing on the weekend. And, oh, wait, look at that. They got banners and lights up here. I didn't even see those. How festive. <clears throat> this dude should seriously consider monochromatic colors and should seriously consider horizontal stripes. Sorry, vertical stripes, not horizontal. Oh, okay, this one is the worst. All right, you don't even get me started. First of all, love is making things better again. Okay, so they're at the zoo. All right, we're at the zoo. And there are no cages for these animals. They're just running free. Like, what kind of effing zoo is this? Like, who is the zookeeper? And he should be totally arrested for his, like, complete malpractice against the people. So, first of all, this monkey swoops out of nowhere and steals this little child's ice cream. I mean, that's just a shooting offense. Like, I'm sorry, but the zookeeper just needs to come out of somewhere with a howitzer and just, boom, blow that monkey away for stealing a kid's ice cream. Like, that's just unsatisfactory. We just don't do that. Second of all, it's hanging out in a tree with, like, a, I don't know, some minor bird parrot colorful thing. Like, the thing from Toucan Sam from, like, Fruit Loops. I didn't even know those things would, like, exist in the same plane without eating each other. But there they are hanging up a tree, and there's no fences or nothing. And so, and you got this dude, and he's handing his daughter another ice cream, which I'm kind of like, eh. If you let a monkey steal your ice cream at the zoo, Huxley, I am not sure that you and I are going to get you a new ice cream. Because it kind of serves you right. But anyway, all right, he's a nicer dad than I am. Let's just go with that. Listen, you got this child yeah. here. She is clearly in a stroller. She's not old enough to have ice cream in a cone. All right, you got another child over here It's like a toddler, maybe like three, four years old. I'm thinking maybe she's old enough for the ice cream cone, but she's got the weird Freddy Krueger things going on with her hands, too. She's got the little spikes coming out. Like, what is that? That's another... Okay, hey, you block on the camera there, buddy. Let's put it over here. All right, she's got the Freddy Krueger thing going on. That's a weird illustrative decision. You got the mom. She looks nice enough. I mean, she kind of looks a little unsatisfied in her marriage. Three kids. She's got a <clears throat> wussy-ass husband who just gives into the kids all the time. I don't know, and he's carrying a balloon, and I don't know, it's tied to his wrist. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say it was his friggin' balloon and not the kid's balloon, which, I don't know, makes me question maybe it's really to be married to a dude, not maybe to a woman, but okay, we'll figure it out. Okay. Anyway. All right. So, now we got... Wait, I know, they're yelling about something. Some, somebody just dropped something on the stairs. Okay, we're going to continue on. Okay, here's the issue. We got a giraffe. Okay. With no cage. And I mean, this thing's just going to come out of nowhere and trample these children. Then you got a flamingo. I don't even know what flamingos at the zoo. And then, wait, uh, yes. This is the part. This is, this is the most egregious part of this book. There is a lion right there. And I don't know a lot about lions. But I know that they should be in cages and not roaming around where there are small children that they can snack on. I mean, frankly speaking, I think that that's absolutely ridiculous. And you know what? Somebody should be arrested. In fact, I'm calling. You know what? After this book is over, I am calling somebody because Sophie Beer 
needs to at least have some kind of a sanction against her because the love of God. There's a line. It's just sitting right here. Like, look, it's, there's no, like, fence or anything. It's just laying on the grass next to this woman and her child with an ice cream cone. I mean, if the monkey can swoop out of anywhere and get the damn ice cream from this little girl, this lion can come up and just go, yum, yum, and snack on the crap out of these people. I don't know. This, this page just pisses me off. We're going on. Oh, okay. I like this page. <clears throat> we just did this today. Love is washing away the day. Okay, let's talk about our day. You were covered with sunscreen, dirt, pasta sauce, pizza, uh, bugs, grass, more dirt, farmer's market smells. Uh, you played with the dogs and cats. Yeah, we had to wash the day away today, so we took a bath. And that's what these nice guys are doing for their children here. Uh, these two dudes um, washing away the day. Kind of like me and your father, your other father there. We washed the day away. Right, he's wearing a pirate hat, which is kind of neat. And he's got, like, you know, puppets on his hands. Or maybe he suffers from some kind of a disease where his hands are shaped like fish. I don't know. Uh, this one, I, I know, yes, I'm getting to that pie. Okay. He also needs to invest in vertical stripes and monochromatic colors. Because this horizontal green and yellow thing, it's not doing him any favors. It really isn't. Oh. Yeah, I know. Seriously. I know. Okay. And then there's the little boys, I guess. We're going to say the little boys. They're in, in the bathtub and they're doing the thing. Oh, you're going to come and look, listen to the book too? This is, I'm doing the book with running commentary, though I'm not really reading it. And here's the blonde one and here's the brunette. So this is like the two dads you guys have, which is lovely. There's an anchor. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Oh, yeah. Get Huxley into some cold and some warm pajamas, because I'm trying on the air down. Okay, well, he's already in the warm pajamas. Do you have any other suggestions that you'd like to make? No, I'm not. Meanwhile, trying. I'm videotaping a yeah! story session here, so, you know, whatever. If you'd like to make commentary, please note that it's for the record. I wasn't saying change him. It was like he said... Good that he's in. Oh, because that's not what it sounded like. Okay, and this sailboat. Oh, look, it's just like when you guys take a bath. Ow, there's water everywhere. Yeah, it's just like when you guys take a bath. I love that. Okay, we got a couple more pages here, and we all stop squirming. Thank you. Oh, <clears throat> love is reading one more book. Okay, I don't really have a lot of problems with this page, except for the fact that they're reading a book about owls and there are these owls looking in the window and as we know owls eat children so i'm pretty much like kind of creeped out hey can you guys cut the garbage i'm reading the book here i'm reading the book here all right what else we got oh this is another one i don't get this one. Oh, i get it now this isn't a bed that's the girl's body and her feet are sticking this way okay i get that i was confused by it but they have a light a flashlight which is nice and there's lots of children in this. Is five, four, six, eight, twelve. There's like 97 kids. These women, these lesbians, they had an awful lot of babies. All right. Um, let's see. Love is chasing away the monsters. Um, the dad seems more petrified of chasing away the monsters than the child is of actually having monsters in the room. Although <clears throat> they were good, responsible parents, and they bought her a crossbow. So that's good. I hope she doesn't shoot her eye out with that thing. Um, Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, I'm almost done with the book. Guys. Love is chasing the monsters. All right, let's see. Hang on. Oh, here we go. Love is a kiss before bed. Where are my kisses before bed? Where's my kiss before bed? Oh, you guys are the best. Oh, see, these will be the day when, like, the dog here in the house when Kansas actually likes you enough to sleep on your bed like this dog. Our dog doesn't really care for you guys very much right now. Um, look, they left their shoes on the floor wherever they drop them. This person's room is a little bit neater than the others. So they got this telescope, which conveniently looks like it's pointing up the mom's butt. Um, and let's see what else. Nothing else. Oh, there's constellations on the wall here and planets and whatever. So, uh, good night. That's it for our book. That was a good book, guys. Why do you have a camera? Because I'm recording this. I record story time a lot. Beep, beep. I go back and look at it and make notes and see what I did right and what I did wrong. All right, off to bed, my little buggers.